What's going on, you guys out there in streaming land? It's Jamie HK. HK stands for humankind. Don't forget to share some share some kindness to the person sitting next to you or around you. I don't care. Call somebody, tell them that you care. I don't know. Anyway, um, we are back and we are going over some decks in Magic the Gathering Arena. And now, last time we were playing, we're gonna get right into this. We were looking at our, uh, we looked at Dragon's Fire, we looked at Graveyard Bash, and this time we are going to look at Wings and Claw. This deck is a dual deck. It is a white and blue deck. So let's get right into this with some regular traditional play. Hope you guys are there are doing well today on this easy breezy Saturday. South Carolina. It is, it's a little, it's, it's kind of cool outside. It's a little cold outside. It's not really windy too much, but it's, it's kind of nippy. It's not cold. I'm not gonna screw myself on this because every time I do that two just two two lane, I screw myself and I'm a mulligan that one. Uh white and blue, one white, two blue. Territorial hammer skull two one call two callless, one white dinosaur creature whenever territorial hammer skull enters enters attacks, I'm sorry. Tap target creature and opponent controls. Uh, War Kite Mortar. Hmm. Right, we're gonna keep this hand. And we're gonna scribe. We're gonna get a land. A mean. Meandering River. Meandering River. Land. Meandering River enters the battlefield. Tapped. We tap it and we add one blue or one white to our mana. We will bring out some blue ski. We are playing, uh, Mookter Belson. Belkson. Mookter Belskin. So we will say. Hello, and we will let them know to them. Good game to you, good sir, and let's go. We will get some good old tappage going on there. All right. What are you gonna bring? What are you gonna bring? But yeah, we haven't uh, streamed here in a little second. We not really so much apologize, but we had. We've been kind of focusing, as you guys can see, on our. Okay, flying. Uh, war kite mortar, uh, war kite creature pirate flying whenever more, um, war kite mortar attacks target creature descending player control loses all abilities and base power toughness zero one zero I mean that ah, zero one to last end of turn. Oh, if you if you if you decide to defend, you get a zero you get a zero one to end of turn. Damn, and I get and I'm flying. Mm. Okay, okay, but yeah, we've been focusing a lot on our um, enemy. Like I said before, we are committed, and as far as being consistent, especially as far as anime is concerned, and we are doing our best to do the same with our streaming. I want to read this benefit. I get two damage done to me. That's fine. He brought his visceral, Vishino Pyromancer from the red deck. I'll go ahead and take a two damage, good sir. To any player or planes, we're actually going to go back there and get my water. Owie, owie, and we will play another island. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, our choices are uh, disperse, instant, uh, return, target, non-man, parent to the owner's hand. I'm not really concerned about that one. I'm creature opponent controls. Okay, so I can bring that up. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and attack for the two ski since I'm a flyer. Okay, attacking a spacebar. Okay, cool. Attacking a spacebar. I think return is to not to null and void. Okay, cool beans. Because that was the whole time I wondering, what if I'm like, how do I attack? How do I attack? I don't want to keep pressing this damn button. I want to just attack using part of my computer. And I'm going to block you. I might just take the five on this. I'm going to take the five on this. I'll take the five. I'll take the five because we're only at a five difference. Give me some good old mana. I'll give me some good old mana. I will. What do you got going on? You've got haste going on. Let me go ahead and get rid of you. Right, you're out of here, pal. Back to your hand with you, good sir. And I will attack you for the four ski, good sir. And go ahead and sack you down to the two ski. For the one ski, 
Yeah, it's already back. I can't do anything anyway, which is good. Alright. And I'll take the two when you come back and get the two for right now. Because you're going to bring back out what's his face with haste. Of course, and you're going to be for three. I got two. Grrr. Grrr. You're going to go to three and we get two. We're definitely moving up, that's for sure. We are definitely moving. That is awesome. Oh, uh, look at our recent follower thing. It's it's working. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Good, we're going to the plane. Look here, you bastard. All right. Instant. This is attacking creature. Exile all attacking creatures. Hmm. That player may search... I'll just cancel that. That's attacking creatures. I'm, ah, damn it. That's an instant. Exile all attacking creatures. I just got the land. That player may search their library no, for a land card and put this into their battlefield tapped. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's what we'll do there. Uh, zero for him. Oh, well, he'll be going down to one. Uh, he's tapped. Uh, he's already tapped, so he'll go down to one. No! Oh, he actually automatically goes down to zero. Oh, shoot. Um, he's not attacking, so no. He's not attacking, but I. Oh, when they do attack, everybody's going bye bye. Everybody's going bye bye. And then we'll have a chance to con. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. I'm kind of liking this deck, dude. What is it? Wings and Glory deck? Is that, is that what's going on? Instant Ow. Oh. Resolve. No, do you think, bro? You're not attacking me right now. You're not attacking me right now, but when you do attack. But when you do attack. Target player. There go bye bye. Damn, that was pretty beastly. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty beastly. They all go bye bye. They go bye bye, my friend. Oh snap, Arzan. We got a legendary creature. Arzan the Lawbringer. Oh, legendary creature, Sphinx flying. Hold on, what's going on here now? Flying ways enters the battlefield. Each opponent can't cast into the sorcery spells during player's next turn. Whenever I attack, you may pay so um. X one call is two blue. If you do this, you gain X life drawn. Whoa, what is X? Hmm. What is X though? I can't really freaking see right now. There's so much going on with that card. I mean, you can pay what? I can't. You gain X. X must be the two colors, is that what I'm seeing? Uh, this game's flying as long as a dragon on the table. On the ground with him. Oh, come on, don't do that. I hate it when they do that. I mean, I don't care, but I hate when they do that. That was a good deck. That was a good one. That was a good one. I will put my 250 on that. Matter of fact, Wings and Claw. We're going to play with you one more time. I like, because I'm not really, I haven't really had a chance to really, really dig deep this yet with you one more time I like I'm not that was that was a good that was that was very good uh, look at that man look at the loud look, and we're gonna keep this just like this nice and simple when our chat comes up matter of fact let's check our chat let's go to our chat and let's see how our chat is looking chat is there hello I'm gonna tell myself hello like I usually like to do hello me hello even though our buddy just came in and gave us the what's up and showed us some love. Hello. Okay, chat looks good. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Let's get back to the game. Sorry about that. And we will keep this. And we're playing Panda Condo Gordor. Panda Gordor. We will tell them hello. And as usual, good game to you, sir. Good game. Alright, and I'm having an instinct to play some white first. Alright, good game. I love it. And we have, what do we have? Sunholm Stewart, Stewart, creature, human soldier, first strike, Meatwar, Meatwar, artifact creature, oh shit, 
Real quick, nothing, nothing special about him. It must be artifact deck. And we'll go ahead and play a land of the Grishul, Grishul Fortress. Glacius. Glacius. Is that Glacius Fortress? Glacius, not Grishul. Glacius. Oh, cool beans. Um, creature with first strike deals combat damage before a creature without first strike. Whenever creature attacks, put a 1 1 counter on a target attacking creature with itself with lesser power. I'm gonna bring you on the field just to, That sounds amazing. Okay. It'll be a 2 to my. So if I'm blocking, it'll be my 2 against your 1. Oh shit. Yeah, now if I'm blocking it a minute. No, no, no. Wait a minute, how do I have him? Mm, I don't want him to die. That'll be I don't no. No. Ow. I'll take the four. I'll take the four. You're gonna have to grind for this because I'm gaining I've gained people and I see what they said, I've gained people because because I've been streaming more of um Call of Duty. Now Will I not go back to that? Of course I will. Attack, she loses. Okay, that's right, you lose that ability. Uh, creature pirate. As long as you are attacking, it's a flyer. Okay, we'll bring you out, of course. Hmm. Yes, I will attack. Okay, cool. Oh, very good. Spacebar, duh. I'm learning. We're probably gonna do some Call of Duty here in a second. I'm probably gonna need to eat something. Yeah, he definitely has an artifact deck. He definitely has an artifact deck. Uh, <gasps> Ce Cecilia's locket. Oh, tap and tap, and you can add one green or white to his manifold. Four green and four white. Tap, sacrifice Selenia's locket. Draw two cards. Very good. Oh, I have a Selenia deck. You guys want to see it? Hold on. Oh, I don't need that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a Selenia's deck. I have a Selenia's deck right here. See? I have a Selenia's deck. I got it. I haven't... I've only opened it. Oh, oh, there. My locket. Matter of fact, just to be a dork, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, guys. I gotta do it, guys. Just to be a dork. About, and I'm surprised I didn't do it before. I'm surprised I didn't do it before. I'm surprised I didn't do it before. Let me go ahead and lower the damn just a little bit. So you guys can see it. I've got my, my Selenia locket on, and I'm, and I'm proud to say it. Matter of fact, honestly, so it can be seen properly, so it can be seen properly and re represented correctly. We go ahead and put that thing right there so you can see that thing. I represent Selena form. See Selena right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Selena, she's badass. As far as I know, I really don't know anything about her. All right, let's go ahead and get some man out here. Uh, raw, instant return that shit back to your hand. Let's do that. Let's get rid of that shit. We, we put all that back wherever that's going to go. Bye! Bye! And that's going to go bye-bye. And we're going to bring out a flyer. Yes! And when he's attacking, he becomes a flyer. Yes! He's a flyer. He's not really so much a flyer, but he's a mentor. And if I'm attacking, yes! And so if I'm attacking with him, what do I get now? I get a 1-1 tar- Oh, he gets a 1-1 one -one counter. Oh, man. Correct? If I'm not wrong? Wait a minute now. Mentor, whenever this creature attacks, put a 1 plus 1 counter on target. Attacking creature with lesser power. Oh! With lesser power. Okay. Bring up to speed when the stars enters the battlefield. Um, if you control an artifact, draw a card. You don't have any! And we'll bring out another Mr. Awaiting now. We've got to bring her out, Sierra's Angel. I mean, we, I mean, she's a flyer, 4-4 four, four with Vigilance, doesn't have to tap. The freaking, he can block. He's a flyer, but well, and they're attacking, and while they're attacking, he's a flyer. So they're gonna go, damn, I should have, I should have, really should have brought him out. I really should have brought him out. Hmm. And that's right, well, when I'm attacking, you go to a zero, you can't do nothing, you can't do nothing for me, man. I can't do nothing. Hey, she's a bad card, dude. War kite mortar. That's a, that's a very good card. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm so sorry. The music in the background is just like I don't know. I don't know. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bud? Oh, my bad. My bad. I meant to show him, dude. That I've got 
freaking Selena right here. She's like towards Stana, Selena's voice. She's like right there, dude. See, I've got the card. I've got. I'm playing with Selena. I love it. I love playing this damn game, and I'm playing with people, and I've got the cards to freaking back it up. I love it. I haven't. Oh, it's got that brand new fresh smell feel. I ooh, ain't nothing like a fresh deck. Smells good. What are you gonna do, bud? I know things are like, oh, that was gonna. Was, hey, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But hey, you gotta do, you gotta do. Yeah, I got some flyers out there, pal. Don't. Oh shit. Time three. Put those back in your deck. Very good card. What card was that? that is a good card. Here's, here's, here's. X, X is. Oh, whatever, how many creatures that is. Okay. Okay. Now, let's do this a little differently. Now, what were you saying? What were you saying? What? My mom was a what? What? Damn it. She's a flyer. Um, artifact. As long as you control an artifact. Da -da 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 you can't do anything with that. So I will attack you for the force gate, good sir, on the flying tip. Yes, I will. I will not let up. I will not let up. I will have to figure out what I'm going to do as I go. Now, she's a fl Oh, shit, dude. You're done, bro. Unless you got something to do. Unless you got something that's going to stop me, my guy. You're, you're, um... You might be done. And you have an artifact. So, you get one, one. Okay, you get a plus one, plus one. Booyow. Oh, artifact deck. Oh, shit. I'll take it. 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 Hmm, another fly with lifelink. Um, damage dealt by a creature or spell with lifelink does also cause the control to gain that amount. Mm. I'll bring those guys out, but I'm definitely gonna hit you for the 10 on the flying tip, and you are done, bro. And I will bring out my war kite, my war kite mortar. Oh, 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 damn. Okay. Mmm. We're gonna fire. Oh, dude, you're done. Good game. Just one. I'll just pay one. Because I'm not really sure exactly, you know, what's going on there, so I'll just pay the one. Oh, but yeah, back to your good game again. Oh, he's not be presumptuous. I don't want to automatically assume. I am assuming, but I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be done. Hello? Oh, that's me, Sean. I'm about to say, who's telling me hello? That's me. Such a weirdo. Oh, what did you do there, bud? Ah, what did you do there, buddy? Guardian gets wounds against the creature. That's fine. Okay, let's see. We will block. <sighs> hmm. And we will block. So that'll be one, two, two, one, one. So I'll take the three. Those guys there will die. My flyer, no. Yeah, I was. I gotta stop doing. It. You only say good game when you're like. Yeah, you don't do shit like that. You only do good game when you net for sure. Okay, that's the end of the game. 
flying. Yeah, we have another one. Flying world enters the battlefield. Another target creature you control gets one point gains flying. Yep. Yeah, goodbye to you. Yep. Good game, dude. Now you say good game. I was saying it because I had fly. I didn't. I didn't think he was gonna be able to block it, but you don't do that. You you don't do that. You wait till the game is officially when you see that person's giving up, or this next hit is definitely gonna take you out. Not because I you do that when you're about to play. I'll play another one. When you do that when you initially when you play with somebody, you can tell, hey, this game is over. This person is not gonna make it this next go around. I definitely want to spend at least an hour. That's what I mean, we could one more stream here and um, we will um, we will upload this one. We will keep this one here too. Yeah, we'll keep this deck. Because I definitely want to have some content to give out because I definitely want to go over these decks. This is a good deck. Arx, Lance, Lancifer, Lancifer, I don't know, Ark, Ark, but we will tell him hello, and good game to him as well, and let me get some gates please, can I please get some gates please, hello, and what do we have, healers, hawk, creature, flying, lifelink, uh, seal, oh snap, Ruler crawl, I don't want his mana pool. Very good. Let me get all this good stuff. Let me, let me, yes. Mm hmm. Hmm. I want his mana pool. He's got a nice defense on him now. Ugh. Okay, what do we have here? One with wind, enhancement, horror, enchanted creature, contained creature gets 2 2 with fl and has flying. Not bad. I will not block. I will take that one. I will take that one, good sir. I will take that one. I like that. Well, we already have a flyer right now, so we won't really bring him out. Flash. When seal away, when seal away enters the battlefield, exile target creature opponent controls until seal away leaves the battlefield. I'm good. No, I'm not going to waste that guy. But I will bring him out. Blade Instructor. He's a mentor. Whenever this creature attacks, put a 1 plus 1 counter on target attacking creature. Whoa! Less power. Okay, cool. So, I mean, he'll get a 1 plus 9. So, is that every time or is that just that once? How does that work? How does that work? Will that be every single time? Okay, when it says, okay, whenever this creature attacks, put a 1 plus 1 counter, plus 1 plus 1 counter on target, attacking creature with lesser power. Oh. Glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. Absolutely freaking lootly. I'm glad we did that. Yes, you are gone, buddy. Okay, what is it? Whenever Steel Away enters the battlefield, exile target tap creature and opponent controls until sealed. Okay, so. He can't do anything with him now, so... All oh, these are enchantments. Okay. So we give him flying. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. And he plus he's a flyer. With... He's a 5 and he's a 6, so... He has haste. Whoa! I'm so Whoa! How did he not attack me with the five ski? Whoa. Whoa. How did he not attack me for the five ski just now, dude? I am kind of shocked right now. I am kind of shocked right now. Oh, I don't have enough to freaking... Oh, man. I don't even have enough. I don't have enough to even to play him, do I? Well, that's Flash, you may have to start. Let's flash. You may cast so a Flash anytime you can cast an instant. Oh, I didn't have the man to freaking cast him anyway. Oh, now he's tapped. Okay, now he's tapped, okay. He's gotta be tapped. So, you are gone. My friend. Cast away. Oh, he gave up. Our A. 
Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I don't know, man. I like my... That is so geekish. Next time I play next time. And I'm... I'm, I'm wearing... Solanya's freaking pin, and I played Solanya earlier, and I destroyed her, and she left me. That was great. Wings and glory. You know what, guys? Let's go ahead and look. Hey, that was a really, really impressive deck. I am, I am not. I don't want to do that right now. I am not disappointed by that at all. That was very. That was very okay. We have three uh, booster packs that we need to open, which is crazy, honestly. I could actually, I just had an awesome idea just now because I'm gonna do a do, um, I wanna do an unpacking, an unboxing playlist on my YouTube channel, right? You guys that are watching this, let me know in the comment section below what you think. And I always just had an idea. My previous idea was unpacking the packs that I have. Uh, unpacking the packs that I have, that I already have, that I'm kind of waiting to do. To um to open, I I want to I'm thinking about doing that live or recording it and up uploading it, or I can do it here and look at it here as well. It's the same. It's basically the same thing. So that's three videos I could actually do with that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I mean, I could do either or. It's still content. So regardless, that's three more videos. So we might actually be doing that, making that thing. But anyway, we're gonna do that and see. We're actually gonna try both, both, um, both, both um, versions here on Arena and actually in person with the actual physical packet. See where that goes. I'm, I'm pretty excited because I really, honestly and truly, honestly and truly, I'm geeking right now. I really, really, ugh. Ugh. I really want to open up this pack, this deck right here. Okay, I really want to open up this bad boy. Um, it is a Nisa Genesis Mage Planeswalker deck, and she's not a, a legendary Planeswalker, but she is a Planeswalker. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with her. You are familiar here with Magic. <sighs> and I'm pretty looking really. I'm looking forward to actually playing with that deck and going over it. All um, right, let's go ahead and actually take. A look at wings and claw. My bad. Wings and claw. Let's take a gander, shall we? All right. Wings and claw. Like I said before, wings and claw is a white and blue deck, my good people. And let's see what we have. We don't. Let's see how many white. Oh, so they give. All right. So when you come inside your deck, when you open up, phrasing. When you open up your deck. And you start to examine it. This is your deck here on to the right. And to the left, it gives you a number of all the cards that you own. Your your mystic rare wall cards, your rare wall cards, your uncommon wall cards, your uncommon wall cards, your common wall cards, and your uncommon wall cards. I uh, have one times three times ten times uh, twelve. I have yet to really use them, so I'm not really messing with them right now. But also here it basically shows you how many white cards we have here. All the white cards. All our white cards that we have, and all our blue cards that we've already acquired already. So we can actually, we can definitely get started on making some decks for sure. And these are all white mixed decks and whatnot, our white, white and blue mixed lands and whatnot as well. So we're just going to keep going and keep playing and keep playing and keep playing and, and go from there, man. And just collect cards, collect cards, collect cards. And then when we start getting ready to um, actually build our decks, we have something to really work with because we have plenty here. We have plenty, and I'm not really, and I'm not gonna right now alter the pre-made decks that I have already. Okay, now this here uh, is my details. So we have a lot more. Oh, uh, okay, we have three kite sail coasters, uh, three sun sun home stalwarts, and one war kite mortar. Hmm. Okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Okay, first and foremost, we have, starting off, we have two Healer Hawks. It is paid, it costs one colorless mana to bring it into play. It is a creature and is a bird. It is a creature and it's a creature is a bird. It is a flying and has life link and it is 1-1. One, one. And we have two of those. Okay, we also have three Seal Aways. It is, costs one colorless and one white mana to bring it into play. It is an enchantment and it has flash. 
When Seal Away enters the battlefield, exile target tap creature and opponent controls until Seal Away leaves the battlefield. And Flash is, um, <clears throat> you may cast a spell with Flash anytime you could cast an instant. Pretty good. I actually, and that was one of the cards that I actually used to bring up the cat to, um, Seal Away that one of that guy's dinosaur, like his 5-5, five five, which is very handy. Um, we also have a 3-3. Three three. We have three of our Sun Home Stalwarts, Stalwarts. And it costs one Colas and one White to bring him into play. He's a creature. He's a cre human soldier. He has first strike and he's a mentor. Uh, first strike, a creature with first strike. Str a creature with first strike deals combat damage with four creatures without first strike. Okay. I need to get some water. I'll be right back. That's why I keep licking my lips. <laughs> I'm a little dehydrated. I'll be right back. I promise. Guys, thank you guys. I appreciate you holding in for one second. And I just had an idea just now. Not an idea, but definitely something I'm going to implement because I'm a variety streamer, and that is because I'm, because I'm a variety streamer. I feel that it would be it feels kind of unfair to. I feel like I'm kind of neglecting other people who kind of want to play me. Like right now, my 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 viewer, my one person is watching right now. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so very much. And I'm thinking that one person. I need to tell myself thank you because I'm that one person. So thank you, Jamie. You're welcome, Jamie. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, like I was saying before, I like right now. I'm gonna stream this here. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna. We're gonna look over this deck here. And after this, we're going to go, we're going to end this stream, and then we're going to start another stream, and we're going to start playing some zombies, because I really like playing zombies. Right now, these are the two main games that I really mainly play, zombies and magic, when I do stream. Because right now, these are the two main games. Okay, cool beans. Everything looks really good right now. I'm very happy, very, very happy. So, yeah, uh, yeah, like, right when I finished doing this, my bud, he just came in here. Mike, Mike, my, my, the last follower there, Mike, man, once again, man, thanks for the follow, dude. He came in and he basically said, hey, you know, show him some love. And, you know, he's he rooting his cat, Ellie. Uh -huh, his cat, Ellie. Hey, Ellie the cat. Show him some love. My guy hit him back. So he's ready for me. He's ready to play some streams from zombies. So yep, I want to not hurry up and do this, but let's do this so we can do that. And you can definitely see the difference between the stream streamer account because a minute ago when we first started, we had three. And now as soon as we show what we were playing, basically, it went down to one. It's kind of weird because in the description, it kind of does say I'm playing Magic the Gathering, but sometimes it's more of a, let me, hey, you're there, I see you're on, let me get in there, I want to play some Magic with you. Big ups to you, Baker. When you guys get a chance, you guys on Twitch or whoever streaming service you're on, whoever's seen this video, when you get a chance on to go on Twitch, you check out you, Baker's channel. He plays some Magic, he plays also Magic the Gathering Arena, and he also plays um, Path of Exile, so go over there and give him a chance. Path of Exile is like... Diablo on steroids basically what he said to me and looking at it. Oh, dude It really is so you get over there you get a chance to check him out. All right now get back into it um, Mentor whenever uh, This creature attacks put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power I like that so when you're attacking with him a pair as a pair so like you have a one one flyer That flyer gets a one one counter on him and he can do damage flying That's pretty damn cool. And we have a three and we have three of those and we also have a blue. Now we're going. Those are white cards. Now we're going to blue. And we have a disperse. Disperse cost. Uh, the cost to bring disperse into play is one colorless and one blue. He's an instant. And he's an M19 card. An M19 card. That means he is up to date. So that means he is a standard. Standard means he is the one of the latest cards I think uh, uh, made from 2017 and up. Modern is 2017 and back. Okay, cool beans. Now I'm, got, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got an getting an understanding of that. And that's something I guess I'll be explaining throughout the whole... I'm looking at each card because description is everything. And the more you learn about something, the more you go over... The more you go over something repetitively, the more you definitely will retain that information. And then that's also how you learn things. So that's pretty good. And in Magic, there's so many cards. So the more you go over things, the better. Anyway, <clears throat> we have three of those, which is good. He is an instant. And what he does, he retards, returns... 
target no man permanent two owner's hand. And we have three of those cool beans. And we also have three flavorable wings. And the cost of bringing this bad boy into play is one colorless and one blue. He is an enchantment. Uh, I can't really tell what this insignia here means. I don't know if he is a modern card or a standard card. When I see what it is and I can tell for sure, I will definitely say. But I'm thinking that symbol means standard. That emblem means modern. So if I'm wrong on that, in the comments just below, please feel free to correct me, which I'm pretty sure you will. I know what I really want to put on my other pin right now. I'm like, dude, you're such a nerd. Shut up. Okay, and we have three of those, and he's a creature you control with flying and gets a plus one, plus one. That is a good enchantment. We have three of those. Okay, moving on. We have three Kite Sail Corsair. Corsair. And to bring him into play, it is one Carlos and one Blue. He's a, he is a creature. And he is a, excuse me, he is a human pirate. That's his sub, he's a, he is a, um, what is it? A, a creature, but then he's a sub creature. Sub creature is a human pirate. Um, whenever, and when, whenever you attack with him, he gains flying. I guess he just sits around. Okay, fine. And he has three of them, but that isn't. Why does he just have flying, period? I don't... I guess it's his advantage. I, would, I guess the more you play with I would understand that. Cool beans. Okay, now we have one with... One with the wild is an enchantment. It is an aura. And to bring him into play, it is one colorless and one blue. A enchantment creature. Enchantment creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying. Not bad. Not bad. And we have two of those. Uh, we have one war kite mortar. And to bring him into play, it's one colorless, one blue man to bring him into play. So your creature is a human creature, flying and also has flying. Whenever Warcry Mortar attacks, creature target a creature, defending player control loses all abilities and has a base power and toughness of 0, 1 until end of turn. Very good. That is a very, that is a very good ability. Okay, now we have a Blade Instructor. It is a, from the white side of the deck. It has two colors and one white to bring it into play. It is a creature. It is a human soldier. It is a mentor. Mentor. Whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one, plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. So it's a lesser power than three. He gets a one plus one counter. Very good. Okay, now going moving on, we have a white Pegasus Corsair. And it, to bring him into play, you need two colors and one white. And it's an M19, so that means it is from the modern deck, up to date from 2017 and beyond. Ford. Huh? Creature, Pegasus. Okay. Flying when our Pegasus closer attacks another target creature, gains flying until end of turn. And it is a 1-3. And we have two of those. Hmm. Good defense. Pretty smooth defense. Okay, now moving on, we have, going on still with the white cards, we have two Territorial Hammer Skulls. Uh, creature... Dinosaur, whenever territorial camera skull attacks, tap target creature in opponents and opponent controls, and he's a 2 3. Symbol, I'm feeling a symbol once again means that it is from the modern deck, everything from 2017 and below. And we have two of those. Groove A, Groove A. Let's go ahead and move down just a little bit. Uh, and we moving on, we're still with the white cards from the white side of the deck. We have two Imperial. Aerial Source, uh, it takes three colorless and one man, to, one white man to bring it into play, excuse me. It is a creature dinosaur, it has, and I see the symbol again, so I want to say it is from the modern deck. It has flying, whenever Imperial Aerosaur enters the battlefield, another creature, another target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying until end of turn, and it is a three, three. Okay, and we have one Settle the Wreckage. It costs two colors and two white to bring it into play. And it's an instant. Exile all targeting attacking creatures. Player controls that player may search their play may search their library for that many basic for that many basic land cards. Put those cards into the battlefield tap and shuffle their island. You get mana flooded. Mm -hmm. And we have one of those. Okay. Sierra's Angel. We have two of those. It costs three and two white to bring it into play. It's a creature angel with flying with vigilance. Flying, you know, can't be blocked except for creatures with flying and reach vigilance. Uh, attacking doesn't cause this a creature with vigilance to tap. Doesn't have to tap to attack. Moving on, we have another white card, Light of the Legion, to four colors to white to bring it into play. Is a creature with flying is an angel. Excuse me. 
to flying and mentor when light of the legion dies put a one plus one counter on each white creature you control i mean better with a whole white deck but uh, i mean i can i can i can dig it i can dig it and it's flying um this creature can't be blocked except for creatures with flying and reach. Mentor, that's the, these are the abilities, of course. Uh, mentor, whenever this creature attacks, put a 1 plus 1 counter or on target or creature. On, ah, uh, sorry about that. Plus plus 1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. Oh, that's a 5-5. Five, five. Damn. And then we move on to the big dog, Azar the Lawbringer. It is a legendary creature. It's a Phoenix flying. Whenever Azar the Lawbringer enters the battlefield, each opponent can cast instants or sorcery spells during the, that player's next turn. Whenever Azor attacks, you may pay X colorless, one white, and two blue. If you do so, you gain the life and may draw a card. Okay. The cost is how much you have. Okay. Okay, now I get it. I got it. We got one of those good things. Very good. I didn't even do that. Ooh, I need to undo that. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Ah, damn, what card were those? Ah, you son of a so-and-so. I think those were blue cards. Ah, uh, where are you? Oh, man, what was that? I mean... Okay, we'll just replace those cards. But if I'm not mistaken, that death... I, I think that was him. An attack you can create you gains double strike. Nope, that wasn't him because I know we didn't have anything dealing with double strike. At least I don't think so. Um well let's search what we have. Let's, let's throw something back in there. So far, this is a Corsair Martyr Blade. And it's kinda all around flyer deck, so Okay, let's let's get a Let's find a really, really, really mean flyer. Ooh. Another Sphinx flying. Whenever Riddle Master Sphinx enters the battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Okay. And I want to bring a blue one out to replace that one. A white one? Let's bring a white one out. Let's find another white card. We should get actually an artifact. That's what we need to do. A white and blue. Hmm. Huh. White and blue. I don't want to. Why do we have blackout? That's. I don't. I don't want to see black. Here goes our artifacts. You just, as long as you control a blue creature. Oh. That's not a bad card. I really want an artifact. That's a good one to have. I will definitely keep that. <laughs> Oops. Now we're back to 60, okay. Now we're back to 60, okay, cool. So, gets as long as you control blue creature. Oof. Okay. You should have flying. You should have flying. That would have been really good. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. T. All right, yeah. Uh, we just we took up. We accidentally got rid of two cards. My bad. But we replaced him with a Gearsmith Guardian artifact creature. Five colors to bring him into play. He's a construct. Our um, Gearsmith Guardian gets plus two, plus zero, as long as you control blue creatures. A blue creature. This is a blue and black. This is a blue and white deck. Very good addition to the team. Uh, Light of Legion. That's a Flyer. Riddler. Riddle Master the Sphinx. That's one of the cards we're going to replace with. Four colorless. Two blue to bring it into play. Our uh, a Creature Sphinx M19. So that means he is from the standard deck. It's a Flying. Whenever Riddle Master enters the battlefield. You may you may 
target creature and opponent controls in its owner's hand. You may return target creature back to its owner's hand. Alright, and yeah, and that's uh, 10 lands, 10 planes, 10 lands, uh, one glacial fortress um, comes into battlefield tapped, uh, and a Mandarin river, once again, another land comes into battlefield tapped. So that's 10, 10, 20, 24, okay, that's 25 lands, okay, because usually the, the average is 25 lands, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, guys, that is the, um, that is the, uh, where are you at, wing and claw deck, and basically it is a flying deck that is kind of aggressive, which I'm not disappointed with. We won, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we won all three of the games that we played, and then two of the guys, if I'm not mistaken, forfeited. So, I am not disappointed by that. Hey, I thank you guys for coming by and checking out the stream. If you like what you see here, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can hang out with us for a little bit. And hit that notification bell so you know when we go live. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, JamieHK, at twitch.tv. Go ahead and follow us over there and give us a like over there, too. Hit the like button. Oh, there's a like contest. Go ahead and check us out when you get a chance and share us, share our stream to your social medias and all of your friends so they can join the human can clan core you guys have a great evening and we'll catch you on the next stream do slime say two times peace later magic days for all and for all magic